Hi, I'm Karen Lippman. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Glad to see you here. Let's have a little chat. I'm going through something today that I want to talk to you about, and it's hair density. Some of these wigs that come to me are a variation of different densities, but most for my face shape or structure, they seem very dense. They seem, in other words, very thick and almost too much hair, like they're being too generous, these manufacturers, when they um, put the wefts together and the caps together. Um, so sometimes I feel like I have to alter them. And I'm saying that because today it's started at around 78 degrees in the morning, and now it is 92. So I know we're getting into the heat of the summer, um, and I'm not complaining about summer because I love it. But you know, as wig wearers, that sometimes they don't mash up if you want to wear a wig every day and go out of the house feeling like you're not going to have to throw on a hat as soon as you get in the car because you're so hot, or if you're running errands and just at least me, you know, I'm going to be 62, so I get not hot flashes as much as just overheated more than I used to when I was younger. So I don't know if you experienced that or not, but anyway. So I came home. <laughs> I actually didn't have this wig on, but this wig. Um, and, oh, let's see. Which one did I have on? Let's see if I brought it in. Yeah. This is Ivy. This is what I had on today. And she's a pixie. And to me, you would think that wouldn't be a problem. She's very lightweight. Um, she's by Envy. Synthet synthetic wig and mono top inside cap here. And I've put the silicone um, tape on because that's lace front and for me that just softens it if I put that strip of adhesive that's so soft on the outside here that that helps me and it also actually keeps the wig in place so I'm not complaining about the wig itself it's really a nice wig um, I don't know if these lights you can see through it like I can trying to hold it up. I think you can a little bit. See that part, how it's transparent when I move it around? Okay, I think you can, yeah. So that, I mean, you would think so much air would come through there that there's no way I'm going to be hot in this. That's why I put it on. Um, but, and there's no permatease. So I can't blame it on permatease. Um, it does have a longer hair on the top, but look at this first layer. When you open it up, let me just comb this through so I can show you. These wefts are very open. Let me put something underneath so you can see the color. Let's see if this helps us. No, I can't show you very well. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you see that orange tint? That's the comb through there. That's the lace monotop. So anyway, I was sure I would be able to wear this and not feel overheated. I wasn't out for very long, only about an hour, 15 minutes, I would say. Um, but I had to take her off as soon as I got in the car and put my cotton ball cap on, which is not glamorous. And when I have so many wigs, I wanna wear them. You know, so I'm trying to come up with something here. You guys have to play along with me. It could be a bust, but I think it's going to help me. And if it does, I wanted it to be recorded so I can pass it on to you so you can um, let it help you as well. Um, okay, so let me take a sip. <laughs> Cheers. 
water. Crazy woman. Okay. Hydrate everyone. Hydrate. <laughs> Whatever you like. All right, so what I have on here, I'm gonna take it off and show you. You're gonna see probably sweaty, ugly hair underneath, but I don't care. You know, <laughs> if you've been on my channel long enough, you know, I don't care as much about my alopecia anymore as I do my bat wings. <laughs> Those bug me, but they're there. <laughs> we'll work on that some other time. Um, but I had, this wig that I like the color that I just had on. Okay. So I got this out of the, the wig closet. I now have an official collection of wigs because I'm doing so many videos for you all. You're welcome. Um, but I have fun doing them and getting to know you all. So anyway, this one, I decided, okay, I think it's the hair possibly at the neck that's bugging me. So the first step I did was taking some of the bobby pins out that I'm seeing that were left in here. See the bottom of this? It's clipped right here between the wefts. There's no nape on this one because I took it off. I just turned this inside out Okay, and then the weft, I think I had two or three more here beyond this that had longer layers that really laid on the back of my neck. And I thought, okay, that's what's making me hot. So I just took my little cuticle scissors, being very careful, and snipped. See, just like in here, I go under here. Let me show you. Let's pretend this is a scissor. I go under here, just like so, just like so, without getting any hair in the scissor area, okay? And I just cut it right there and go to the next one. Same thing, make sure there's no hair that you're taking out that you don't want to. Cut it and just go along until you have the bottom nap taken off all right and then this that lightens the wig basically is what i'm trying to do make it a lighter wig that doesn't make me hot then we have the the ear tab over here i never go any higher than i have to i'd rather start too low but not too high and just work my way if I have to alter it more, okay? And then this strap that comes down, I just sewed it into the weft that was aligned to it. Just a few little base stitches. I don't go real heavy into sewing because what if I wanna take it out and do something else, you know, or adjust it? Same thing on the way over here. I did a little sewing, I think. On this one too or maybe I stopped this one no I tacked that one also so anyway okay <laughs> my bifocals on and sometimes I don't see as well as I should but anyway that's what I started to do okay so it is lighter I do like it I like the color how it blends because now the nape doesn't come all the way down and past the hair past my own nape stops the hit the weft actually stops way up here okay and then the hair since the layer of that last strand of hair is about this width so it comes down on my neck but it's more wispy it's not dense and hugging to my neck and I'll show you when I put it on okay and the other thing that I did that you saw was try this and that's just to bring this up so I can start thinning these out even more and then work top layer we can put over where we thin and see how we did okay 
So that's the idea of what I wanted to show you today. But let me show you the wig on without the nape. Okay. I just love the wispiness. I'm just taking those little wire. So this um, ear tabs have a little thick wire in the fabric. So instead of the sideburn, you can bend these towards your glasses if you want to. And they have hair on them, so they're covered. You don't have to worry about them. They have nice hair. And then the part I like is off center and the bangs are wispy. The highlights, I think, are really natural. I just had to check on this for myself to see if it was close to the same length. Double check that. It's scary doing this, altering of wigs, I think. But I have to make them work for me, you know? And if I'm not wearing these wigs, what good are they? Sure, you can pass them on to other people and benefit them, but you purchase the wigs for yourself to solve a problem. Um, mine is alopecia. Other people just have, you know, heredity that didn't deal them, you know, beautiful thick hair. And maybe it's receding. Maybe you're going through treatments, radiation, whatever the cause, um, we all want helper hair to work for us. If we've purchased it and made that trusting purchase, which isn't easy, um, we want to at least try to make it work, especially if you like the style. So that's where I'm at, okay? Um, okay, so anyway, I want to turn and show you, since you saw my little self-cut pixie that I had as bio hair before, and then all that, remember that band of alopecia that just took my hair, all that receding hair is gone. So I needed something to cover that, which I have. Now something nice and wispy over the ears. I have layers in the back that are fine. Now, I've worn this, and if it's 70 degrees, I am so happy, 74, I would even be happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hard to please, but let's talk about when you have that little sweaty band. It's not a sweat man, it's sweat. I hate perspire, perspiration is what I'm trying to think of. Perspiration band where the front of the wig meets your scalp and maybe it's because I'm bald there that it gets more moist or misty or underneath the wig that just makes me feel hot, okay? And it, like I said, this is a very thin density wig to start with, but I'm, I mean, I thinned it out already um, throughout the crown and so on, but I'm gonna do it again because I, I'm dealing with 90, <laughs> 90 plus degrees. So I'm gonna make this baby work, all right? So what I was showing you before, I just pull up the top layers, as many, when I said layers, not just one, but as many as you want, okay? And bobby pin it up, or use that claw comb that can bunch them up there to get them out of the way so you can do your thinning, okay? And just use this to bring up some of those longer layers that I don't want to cut. I like those. And I think I can still get some weight off of this wig. I don't want to cut the ends of that, so let me pin it again just to be on the safe side. Don't look at my bad wings. I see you looking. <laughs> ah, why me? I know you say, just put a long sleeve shirt on. It's 90 degrees. Put it on, cover those things up. They're not pretty, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, 
So one more in the back. And I think I'm ready to thin it out just a little more. Just a few ounces can make a difference and it sounds crazy, but I have a weight um, scale that I can weigh postage and so on. And I put my wigs on there <laughs> before and after I've thinned them. And I'm just taking maybe, I'd say four ounces off or 0.4 ounces. Yeah, because most of these wigs are like 2.8 and I'll, I'll make them 2.4 and that helps. Every little bit helps. So with that in mind, let me get to work and show you guys what I'm talking about. So the bangs, I'm going to leave alone because I've already thinned those. This longer one, I hope you can see me good. I know this is kind of technical, but see these little cuticle scissors. If I'm timid about where and what I want to do, I'll use those, okay? And start out that way. And I'll grab just a little bit. Because remember, this is underneath the layers. But I want to take away some of the fiber of the synthetic wig and the weight of that. Okay? So I'm just taking maybe an inch and a half. And all this is going to add up from when I thinned it the first time, and I'm thinning it now, to, and you don't have to do it straight across, in fact, I would not. I just go in about every half an inch, and just do a little half cut. So that way you don't have to worry about big expensive well, they're not expensive, but any professional thinners to try out the idea of thinning your wigs. You can just use little cuticle scissors so you're not taking too much because I'm afraid if you get big scissors out, you're gonna get aggressive. And I don't want you to ruin your wigs. So definitely try this on a wig that you're not too worried about. It's not super expensive if you'd rather so you know how you're doing. Okay, now I can't see that area so well, so I'm gonna stop. And what I'm gonna do is get my wig stand out. I have a canvas one, but today I'm gonna to try to do it without the canvas um, because it just takes longer to get out and everything. I just wanna show you this concept and see if it works, you know? So. I'll take this beauty off, put her on my wire stand I have here, okay? And then I'm going to finish her on that side by just doing exactly what I showed you before. I'll lower this down and show you so you don't have to look at my beautiful, <laughs> my beautiful hair right this minute, but look and see what I'm up to on this side, okay? So we were doing this side. Oh, no, we were doing this side, weren't we? When it was on my head. Yeah, the right side. Now I can see back here, okay? All this layer is up. All the top layer is up, remember? So we're just weaving just a teeny bit. And you can always do less. My camera went down, sorry, hold on. I'm with you, <laughs> don't you worry. Okay, here we go. Just a few little snips. Take that little bit of hair out, turn it around, come in and do a little more. Just a few inches I'm going from the bottom up, like inch and a half, and I'm just taking a few little hairs out very delicate. I always can go back and do more, but you can't put them back on so well. Okay. And put that on the 
table, move on to the next, and so on. All right. Let me finish this side, not bore you to tears. But I think this is going to help us this summer. Because I had to come up with a solution. Toppers don't work well for me. I don't know why. They're, I guess because I have a pixie and it looks kind of grandma-ish with just a pom-pom of kind of hair sticking on top of my head. Okay? So, on the right side, I'm going to take those clips down. Let me move this back for you. Okay, I'll take some of these bobby pins out on the right side. I'm going to leave the other side up, and we're going to just look and see how I did. And because I like this wig so much, and it, then it blends into the back of my hair so well, I feel that I don't want to ruin it. I, you know, it's not expensive, but I still don't want to give this wig up. So it's worth trying some of these options. Okay, pop it back on for you. Straighten you up. You're getting drunk, aren't you? <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> oh golly all right here we go girl's gonna have hair again straighten those tabs to where my sideburns are sweep my uh rod stewart look or what's her name meg ryan meg ryan look at least i could be a girl right <laughs> and then i'm gonna take a peek in this mirror too Let's see if I need to adjust anything other. Oops, excuse me. I haven't done much to secure it at all, but I just wanted to see how it feels. It feels less dense now. See how I, when I put my fingers in here, it's less thick and it doesn't catch as much. It looks more natural, I believe, when you have less density than sometimes the manufacturers give you. Now, some manufacturers are better than others in calculating and giving us exactly what's fitting for the average woman um, as far as the volume of hair, but some are just over generous, as I said. This is still pinned up and I'm gonna leave it that way because I still have to finish the side. And then I'll be ready to wear it this summer. Okay, and I have a feeling just doing a little bit on each side until I get it exactly right is gonna be the answer. As you can see, it didn't change the style because that top layer is keeping that style in shape. I'm not jeopardizing that or the bang. Yeah, I just push that out of the way, alter it underneath, drop that down and you'll see that's why I look even I feel funny leaving you without looking even silly girl so I think global warming and just summer is something we have to face and if you're like me let me know if you have any solutions on being able to wear wigs especially if you're 60 plus years old. I think it feels a little bit harder for us to get by in the heat. Maybe it's my heart condition, I don't know. But if you're gonna say it's because I don't have enough water in my system, I know you don't. That could be true too. But I don't want to want a sweaty head. That much I know. So I'm gonna let you see the back, okay? You ready? Here we go. Just picture how cute Meg Ryan looked in Sleepless in Seattle. 
Wouldn't that be great to have her hairstyle? I don't have a swizzle chair, swivel, <laughs> or a brain chair. So I'm doing my yoga move. Turn and snap. What do you think? Did I score? Did I score a winner? I hope this is a tip that helps you win. And I wanted to show you also the thinning shears that I do have for hair in case you want to go that route. Patty's Pearls has a nice video on thinning, especially long hair. These are great on long hair. Okay. And I think they were about $22 or something on eBay, but um, it doesn't have a manufacturer there. But anyway, they can be found really easy and they're nice and they last. Um, so I'm glad I have them. Um, these, I was just feeling them and they needed to tighten just a little bit with that screw there. So before you do your wigs, just pay attention that that's tight. So I wanted to, I was going to show you how, you know, like two ounces of hair, but you guys can visualize it. Uh, right now I have a little mess <laughs> to clean up. Uh, let's see what else. Um, let's see, what else did I have? I know I had something else. I went, oh, I know, those terry cloth headbands. I got some to try. I'll show you. These were on Amazon also for a facial spa head towel with magic tape. That's what it says on the sticker, okay? And what they are are wide headbands, which is good for me because I have that wide space. And they Velcro shut. So use the noise for a minute. I'll get one out. Pretty and pink. Got to do it. I think they were about ten or twelve dollars for all four. I got a black one also. They're so soft. I just love terry cloth anyway. Okay. And they velcro closed. You can see how big that is. And it looks really long at first. I thought, wow. I don't know if this is going to be right, but let's try it. So, I just went like this. Brought it around and closed it in the back, lined it up. Might take a couple tries. And did the old ear tuck. Did the old ear tuck on this one. Okay. to the side a little. Bring out the fringes in the back. That more youthful look. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> We're all trying. That's for sure. All right. And that's a fun summer look, too. Just to have, you know, if you throw your robe on or something, you can put that on. And I think it looks real cute. Obviously, this is it. You want to have your wig on, all right? And that keeps it off your neck as well, as you can see. Or, what I like to do when I'm showered and shampooed, my bio hair, I like to come out of the shower. Make sure I'm doing this on the right side. And look at that big spance, <laughs> big forehead I have to cover. And I'd like to tuck my ears under it. Velcro it closed. Put my nightie on. Get my little bit of bio hair that's going. Just let it go every which way, because it feels good just at the end of the day or midday, whenever you want to just settle in 
and be comfortable in your own home is just to, I should be taking my glasses off because it's a little tight for the glasses, but just to relax and get your robe on, put some music on, have a little special, I was going to say hot toddy, but a special wine spritzer for spring and summer. And uh, hopefully that'll cheer you up too. Just having something new and has a little variety of color and choices and so soft on your skin and scalp, especially if you've been hot all day, it feels good. It really does after a nice cool shower. So you might want to try it, just an idea. Um, I think that covers everything today. I have, uh, I have a few wigs that I put in the car today. I was going to take to a charity and I called them up and they said they're no longer taking, I should speak up, I'm sorry. They no longer take um, wigs at this Jewish hospital I was going to take them to. And um, I understood that. I asked if they knew of anyone local that would take them. And they told me the cancer family center that's maybe 20 miles from my house would be delighted to have them. So that was really a positive response. Um, they gave me the number and I called and I explained my situation that I have alopecia. I have a few wigs that I'm not wearing anymore. And could it be possible that you could take them and help somebody else out? And the gentleman on the phone said, um, of course, you know, if, if you'd like to drop them off, you know, it would definitely help. And I was really thankful and I said, thank you so much because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find someone locally. Um, he says, no, we, we clean them up and style them for people and they're thrilled to get them. So I know where I don't know where, but I know that these will be going to someone who really needs them. So um, I think there's a lot of us that are fortunate and can pass things on like that without much bother if we just make a little bit of effort to reach out and find those local places. Um, if you're like me, I try to limit postage that I have to use. If I had to send them out of state, I would, but I'm trying, you know, because I've already paid for the wigs, I'm trying to keep, you know, my budget a little bit reasonable. Um, so it was perfect. It worked out great. He was happy. I was happy. And that's done. So if you make a mistake or find some style that's just not for you, and the return policy isn't um, an option, I'm sure there's local outlets for you. So look up cancer centers or hospitals, uh, women's centers in, in the hospitals, particularly will probably know where to send you to connect with those families that need you, okay? So keep doing good things and know that I'm thinking about you all and my heart really goes out to all of you that are struggling with any kind of confidence issue. Um, these times are hard to get through um, with masks and sickness and just not knowing exactly what to do to get by. It can be a struggle, not just for us, but for everyone really, regardless if they have hair issues. Um, we, our global world <laughs> truly. So truly, it will be a blessing. You can do this and let me know if you do. I hope I can inspire you to do good things and tell me any ideas you have and pass them on to others. If you have great ideas that can help others right now. All right. I don't want to say goodbye because I like you guys. <laughs> I wish I could meet you all. 
I wish you all lived near me. Silly. But YouTube brings us together. Right? Yeah. So I'm going to wear my headband now. Adios. Bye-bye. <laughs>